Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. This is the league final at Lone Star Kart Park in Fort Worth, Texas. It's 12 laps, 18 drivers in the heavy class. This is the last race of the summer series, just six races. And going into this final race, I am the points leader for the championship in the summer series. Ethan is right behind me in second place, and he's actually starting in second place in this race. Uh, Sosa's in third place, and he's starting right behind me in fifth place. And Justin is fourth place in the points, and he's starting next to Sosa in sixth place. The pole sitter is Russ, who is not in contention to win the championship. He's missed too many races. So to break it down even further, if I beat Ethan, who's starting in second place here, I win the championship, no questions asked. If Ethan beats me in this race, and there's at least one driver in between us at the finish, he wins the championship. So I've got to finish behind Ethan if I don't beat him. All right, so the race started here, and Russ is on pole. Goes straight to the lead. Ethan looks to the inside here. Russ gives him plenty of room, and good move on Ethan's part. The, the finish, the, the uh, pass still isn't finished, though. And there he goes, finish it there. I get a look in here on Russ, trying to go for second place. Russ does a good job. We don't touch here, good racing. Does a good job of keeping the outside line and keeping his momentum up. I, I backed off just a little bit there at the end uh, to let him back in. I didn't have the uh, position. It's early in the race. Let's just settle in. So at this point in the race, if we finish just like this, Ethan is going to win the championship. I've got to get around Russ to lock down the championship for myself, or Russ has to get around him in order for me with a, to, in order for me to win the championship. So finishing up the first lap here, we're one, two, three. Carts are running really fast. It's a cool night. The engines like the cool weather, so things are are going a little faster than normal, just a little bit. Still trying to fill the cart out. I feel like I have a pretty good cart, but it looks like they have pretty good carts too. So this is going to be a tough race uh, getting around. So right here, I don't want Ethan to pull away too far, and if he does, I want Russ to be right there with him because um, I've either get a, I've either got to get around Russ catch Ethan, which is going to be really hard to do, or I've got to rely on Russ beating Ethan in order for me, win the, to, in order for me to win the championship. So um, the race is still unfolding. There's a lot going on. Pressing as hard as I can. You can see the gap start to open up, which is not good news for me. So the way that the uh, points work here is that you get a drop race, which means that, so in this series, we get six races. Whatever your worst finish is, they eliminate that from the final standing. So coming into this race, Ethan had missed a race, and he was technically in fourth place, but when you do the drop race thing, he's now elevated to second place. I'm driving as hard as I can and watching those two guys up front, but I'm still looking at my marks and keeping an eye on those guys while I can. Take a glance up there and see what, what they're doing, especially like places like right here. I don't want them to pull away from me because they have a history of getting into some good battles. You can go back and watch some of the videos and see what I'm talking about. So if they get in a little skirmish, I want to be right there in position to take away one of the spots and lock the championship down. So again, Ethan's in first place at this point. Russ is in second place. Looking for Russ to pass Ethan so I can uh, win the championship. But um, we still got a ways to go in this race. Ethan taking a little bit of a defensive line there. Let's see if he takes one here. Yeah, eh, maybe a little bit of a defensive line there going on that corner. He's doing a good job of, of uh, staying in front of Russ, though. And Russ is doing a good job of just hanging with him. And I'm trying. There I go. I'll start to catch him just a little bit. Want to inch my way up there. He 
They do a good job of getting a good uh, exit out of that corner. It really sets them up nice for the uh, straightaway. Slowly start to catch them, they slowly start to pull away here and there in different parts of the track. You can kind of see where, you know, people are better than others at certain parts of the track. This is a good race. And again, it's for the championship, so everything counts. I am driving as well as I can. I have a little bobbles here and there. And they uh, definitely capitalize. They drive so well, every mistake I make, they pull away just a little bit. They're driving pretty perfect, it looks like. Ethan in front, Russ in second. They're driving really well, making very few mistakes. I'm not making too many, but again, when you're racing, with guys that are pretty consistent and you do make a mistake you know you definitely pay for it and they pull away just a little bit but overall the gap is staying at this point in the race uh pretty consistent again this is for the championship if uh, ethan's in first place russ is in second i'm in third if it finishes like this ethan wins the championship so i am hoping that russ can get around him or at least race him where i can catch up to him and uh, take a spot away from one of those two guys. We're, we pulled away from the guys behind us. I've taken a peek here and there and I just don't see anybody back there. So I'm 100% focused on what's going on in front of me. Again, these two guys have had some good battles in other races, and I think it was two, three races prior to this one. If you go back and watch, um, in this corner right there, actually, um, they were going for the win on the final final lap. Russ was on the inside, Ethan was on the outside, and uh, Russ cut the corner because he didn't think Ethan gave him room, and there's a little bit of controversy, controversy and uh, Ethan was given the win, Russ was was demoted to second place. Right there, Russ is starting to make a move here. And I am a big fan of this. Come on, Russ. Okay, this is looking good. He looks at the inside here. This is very good for me because Russ has position here. Whoa, Ethan hits that curb. And then I almost get into Ethan. You can see how pissed off Ethan is by his movements in the car. I almost got into the back of him and spun out there, so if I'd have done that, that would have been terrible for me. So now, I'm winning the championship if it finishes like this. So this is very good for me. I know Ethan's pissed off, and he's trying everything he can possibly do to... Uh, to catch Russ and pass him because he does want to win this race to give himself, you know, the chance to win the championship. Ethan is so focused on catching Russ. I don't even think he realizes that I'm back here. We'll see the, if I can get a run on him. No reason to do anything crazy. I'm in the championship. So I just keep it this way. I win the championship for sure. So I don't think, like I said, Ethan knows I'm back here. So if I let it finish like this, you know, Ethan can still catch Russ and pass him and, and, and win. So what I want to do here is two things. One of two things. I can either pass Ethan and leave no question, or I can start battling with Ethan. And of course, when I say battle, I don't mean bumping them and racing them dirty. I mean racing them clean, of course. But as soon as I start racing him for position, Russ will pull away. And I know that if Russ pulls away, and I finish behind Ethan at least, I'll still win the championship. So right now, things are looking 
are in my favor at this point. So I do want to try to catch Ethan and, and, and race with him, which will allow Russ to pull away and lock things down for me. So we're getting ready to come down to the last lap and I am going to just let the in-car audio go. Last lap. Just trying everything you can. All right, that's it. So I won the championship in the Summer Series at Lone Star Car Park. Ethan, I don't know what he was doing. I think he's still pissed off, so he spins out. So this is my, uh, the last time I won a championship was at Dallas Carding Complex in 2018 in their rental league series. And it was good to get this win. A lot of good drivers, a lot of close racing. I mean, it came down to literally one position on the track for the championship. So that was really good. Good, good racing. And here, Ethan still pissed off and doesn't give us the customary fist bump. And uh, I, don't, I don't know, we're just like, what the hell? Anyways, um, look for him to be one of the favorites in the next in the fall series uh, at Lone Star Car Park. And uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Um, super, super close. I wanted to beat Ethan, but you know, I did what I had to do and I had to finish right behind him and that's what I had to do to win the championship. So we are able to pull that off. I wanna thank Lone Star Car Park for and Chris, the manager, for having such a fun series, a very well-organized series, a very efficient series. Uh, if you get a chance, you guys should go race in that series. I think you'd like it. And uh, everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.